With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is, find the radius of a circular orbit of a satellite moving with an angular speed equal to the angular speed of Earth's rotation. If the satellite is directly above the North Pole, at some instant find the time it takes to come over the equatorial plane and the mass of Earth given to us is 6 into 10 raised to the power 24 kg. Okay. So in the given question, we have to find the radius of the circular orbit of a satellite moving with an angular speed equal to the satellite uh, angular speed of the Earth. Okay. So let us suppose this is our satellite and this is Earth. Okay. This is our Earth and this is our satellite. Okay. Now in the given question, we have been given that the angular speed of the satellite and Earth are equal. Correct. So what we can say is since the angular speed of satellite is equal to the angular speed of Earth. Correct. So what we can say is the time period of one revolution of satellite will be equal to the time period of rotation of Earth. Correct. Therefore, the time period time period of one revolution revolution of satellite of satellite will be equal to will be equal to the time period of time period of rotation of earth rotation of earth uh, as we know that the earth rotates in 24 hours so the time period of one revolution of satellite is satellite is how much 24 hours correct or what we can say is 24 into 3600 seconds correct now the time period the expression of the time period is given as t square is equals to 4 pi square into r cube divided by g into m where m is the sorry where r is the radius of the orbit correct so this radius is r radius of the orbit of the satellite correct so from here we get the value of r cube as t square gm upon 4 pi square correct now substituting the value what we get is the time period is 24 into 3600 whole square into value of g is 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 into mass of earth is given to us is 6 into 10 raised to the power 24 whole divided by 4 pi square correct whole raised to the power 1 by 3 and this will be equals to the radius of the orbit correct so when we calculate the radius of the orbit the radius of orbit comes out to be 0 0.42 335 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters or approximately what we can say is the radius of orbit is 42300 kilometers okay so this is the radius of the orbit now in the second part what we have been asked is if the satellite is directly above the north pole at some instant find the time it takes to come over the equatorial plane okay so the north pole is over here and the equatorial plane is this of the earth correct so we have to tell what will be the time period to take the satellite to come from here to here okay so the time period is what now as it is clear from the diagram that the satellite revolves one by fourth of the complete revolution in going from the north pole to over the equatorial plane equatorial plane so the time period for the second part will be so the time period will be 1 by 4th of the time period of revolution one revolution correct so it will be 1 by 4 into 24 hours so it will be 6 hours okay so the satellite will take 6 hours to come over the equatorial plane from the north plane north pole okay so this is our required answers thank you
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.